Is really? that what it's actually called? What is this in English? Taipei, Guoqi, Hangtai. Hold on, let me Google Translate it. What's up, everyone? I'm Nelson from Hartwick and B and T here. I'm this is Ridley with B and T USA, and we're here at the Taipei or Taipei Aerospace Events and Technology Exhibition. <laughs> and. Uh, they are so gracious in bringing on real BNT firearms into Taiwan for the public to see and for basically uh, great people. And uh, everybody's going gaga because uh, for some people in this country who, which is uh, not allowed real firearms, they're touching a firearm for the first time. And it happens to be a BNT, so which is a huge win. So we're going to kind of break down what they bought over and introduce different weapon platforms to you guys. Obviously, you know, she is representing PNT, so I'll let her do most of the talking. I'm just a technical dummy who's going to do different moves. Take it away. So this is our USWG chassis. It allows you to turn your lock pistol into a carbine. This particular one puts a lock 17 or 19 in 9 millimeter. It adds a third point of contact for increased stability for like a police or military officer in chase. It fits in a holster so you can still use it. With this rock folded, and then you can quickly deploy it. They can just spot to an eight point acro, and then also NATO accessory rail on the six o'clock position for a grip or light or any other accessory. This is the SIG 320 version or the M17 version. So this one is a little bit different, where the entire lower is basically one piece. So this one, the uh, the lock goes into the chassis. This one basically converts the six trigger group, I think it's a trigger pack, it sits into the frame and then you put the slide on. So it basically works kind of the same way. Um, the difference is this one doesn't have a charging handle. It's got an acro mounted on it. You can actually rack it with the acro, or you can grab it from the front with a serration. It's the same idea. You turn your pistol into, your car, into our carbine, which is giving you more accuracy, more range. It allows you to mount different things like red dot sight and a flashlight. The next thing we have here is the GL06. This is a 37 light plate? Yes. Okay. So due to import restrictions, they couldn't bring in the 40. So they brought in the 37, which is a flare launcher. It's our flare pistol, but pistol. it looks the same as the 40 millimeter launcher. We currently supply these to the Taiwan CID in 40 millimeters or less lethal launcher. Okay, so allow me to demonstrate. You push this button and the tube pops up. You pop the round in, you close it, and you shoot whatever you need to shoot. It's got this stock, which you could actually take this part off, may I? Yeah. Which allows you to use a light shield, and then it doesn't up, you know, intru uh, obstruct your view. You could actually still aim down the red dot. This is really cool. So you said the, the difference between this one and the 40 is the rifle and the barrel as well? Yeah. Our 40 millimeter one has a rifle barrel which helps improve the accuracy. And then minor differences, it's black, not gray. Yeah, but putting a, an acro on it makes everything sexy. Right. So we're going to move into the more cooler weapons. When we get them out of their hands. So obviously the big bad one is the APC-9. This is the K model. This is the model that won the U.S. Army tender in 2019. Um, this is also the one that we're making a license replica of. Shameless plug. And uh, I asked her off camera. This is actually the most popular model of the uh, ENT SMGs. So I'm just gonna pick it up. Got the bag. Obviously, it's all safe, but we're used to handling real firearms, so we'll just do the whole most safety thing. Okay, so. Up in the front, we have the, this is a BNT aftermarket accessory, little stubby grip. You got flip up sights. So, this is an Acro P2 with a BNT mount. This is the low mount. Uh, they have a high mount on another gun. So, BNT guns um, has really good tolerances, so the stock just pulls out like that. And then you can push the button and it drops back down on its own. This one over here is a semi auto model. It's got ambidextrous charging handle 
and selector switch and magazine release. All ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. And flip up sights, all of our flip up sights. <laughs> so, what's really cool about this gun is that we have the license to make um, the entire ABC line. So that includes the K, the SD we'll show you later, and there's another full size, the Pro. And they also have uh, limited edition models, which are longer. So the difference between the ABCs and some of the other models is that the upper receiver is monolithic. So this entire, one, the entire thing is actually one piece of aluminum. And fun fact, um, all the ABCs sold in Europe actually come packaged with an A point. So I guess, uh, you guys are like an acro, okay. So this is the one that uh, kind of everybody's been waiting for. Make sure I don't put the bag in backwards like all the other guys. Okay, so this is the SPC line. Yeah, our SPC nine PDW. Okay, so what is the difference between this one and that one? The SPC nine was made for a tender that required a pistol caliber carbine that had the same handling or similar handling as an AR. So it features an M4 style lower, <laughs> that's like Chris, so. M4 style lower, that's completely ambidextrous. And then it also has the rear AR style charging handle. This particular model has our telescopic stock. However, we offer one as well that uses a mil spec AR style buffer tube, and you can put any other like magical accessory on their stocks. It also features the forward charging handle, like an MP5. And then with this one, we offer many different barrel lengths, different hand guards. And then again, these ones all feature an point for our export orders. So this is a G model, which is not as good as the APC PNT Meg model. This is my feeling. Okay. Yeah, this Pro just means it's the newest generation. It, is, it has a non-reciprocating charging handle. And you can change the pistol grip, and then the G is just an accept Glock style magazine. Okay, can we? Can you introduce this awesome suppressor? This is our super sexy new suppressor. It's our SQD for super quick attack. Should I like that? Come on, point girl, it. There you go. It's also an RTS suppressor, so that's reduced back pressure, where it's flow through. And then for the purpose of the show, these are solid tube snake suppressors. So, can you explain what all these little cuts and holes do? Because everybody looks, you know, they're used to a silencer, this is a cap. Yeah. And obviously, BNT's machine all these slots into it. So, explain the way, please. Yeah. So, all these holes just let the gas flow out, and that means less gas is blowing back the users like eyes, nose, less pressure on the gun. So another seamless plug, we're going to do the pro model as well with this stock. Okay? So I'll take this away. This is actually my favorite gun at the, the B&T booth with uh, Bright Future. Uh, so this is a SD, okay? Not the compact though, right? This is an that SD is compact. compact. Okay, so this is the SD compact. So the SD2 that you guys recently released drops another slot. Yep. It has actually two suppressors, so you can make it a full size, and then you can take the second part off and make it compact. And for the SD, we also offer different size handguards and suppressors. So you can get like subcompact, compact, or full size. And uh, this is the really cool new stock that you guys just released. What is this called? This is our MBT stock. Okay, so this is like the newer version of that stock. Yeah, so it's foldable. It is also retractable. Okay. There. there you go. Uh, oh, are we grabbing the wrong part? Maybe, yeah. There you go. It's a two handed operation. <laughs> I'll lend you a hand. <laughs> there you go. I actually asked Carl about this. I remember, I'm like, why can't we open this with one hand? He says, well, you're supposed to sit it and then you're supposed to leave it there and not constantly play I with it. I did it earlier with one hand. I don't know how I did it. Maybe I'm. No, oh, you remember wrong. You're confused. Yeah. My other hand. Your, your, it was your other hand. Yeah. So, okay, let me, let me get back in here. So the cool thing I like about this gun is obviously most of you that don't really know me, I'm pretty tall. I'm six foot two, eight or nine. So this gun 
<laughs> this gun is actually about the size of an M4. So I, I actually, you know, I, I find it fits me very well. The, the K is actually a little bit small for me. So this, that's the thing about the APC9 platform is you could, as Carl calls it, gun level it. You could change out the stock, change out the foregrips, or with the APC 9K, you can't change the foregrip, excuse me. But there are different models that would fit your body size, your body type, and how you want to use the firearm. So, there's, I think we're going to do this one, that one, and the K, and maybe even the ST2, which does come with a collapsible stock. So, you can mix and match it through the whole APC series. We have the different stocks, different lowers, except in different magazines, depending on and then different size receivers and barrels. All the way up from like four and a half to like 16 inches. All right, thanks really for dropping by in Taiwan, showing us all these cool BNT guns. We're very excited, obviously, you know, with our release of the license replica soon. And um, I'll see you at MOA, hopefully. Okay, bye-bye.